Here we have some glass globes in the corner of my room in a box. It's a big mess and I'd really like to organize it and I think I want to do that by 3D printing some bases that the globes can be supported by and also displayed uh, on my desk. So I want to do that today. Now normally I would use my 3D printer but at the end of a print the other day this happened. See that white stuff? Yeah it's not supposed to be there. So I was pretty upset. I thought my 3D printer was broken. So I ignored it for about a week and eventually I went on Reddit and I found out I might be able to fix it. All right, just took apart the hot end. Yeah, like I said, it was a disaster. Look at that mold of the hot end. I just turned on the heater and have been cleaning out the hot end since. That's what it looks like currently. So with the plastic nodule removed, I could put it all back together and start printing. Or hear me out, I accept an incoming offer for a new 3D printer. Not for any amount of money, but for free. calibrating back here this was really cool this is like an automatic tip cleaner and the trash goes into this little waste container after okay this thing is crazy man look at this thing move it's going like 260 millimeters per second right there 260 my dresser is not the most stable thing, so it is shaking the whole room because of how fast it accelerates. But it is printing a Benji in 18 minutes. And uh, so that's pretty cool. And it's got a camera over there, which I'm sure I'll use later. There it is. All right, the boat is done and it's looking good. It's even got text on the bottom. Pretty good resolution. Looking good. All with auto leveling. So I got a new printer. Let's do something interesting with it. Like I said, uh, my plasma balls are just kind of a mess. We can uh, print something up for them and then apply a Tesla coil nearby them to see some new plasma effects. And I also want to upgrade a power supply that I use to power my plasma toroid generator. It's a little dangerous. I'll show you right now. So let's make those upgrades and uh, get designing. So first let's handle the plasma toroid power supply. Here it is. You plug it into the wall, 120 volts, right there at those exposed metal contacts. And uh, if you touch it accidentally, uh, 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 yeah, you get electrically shocked, possibly electrocuted. So I wanna protect myself from that scenario by building out a 3D printed extension of the power supply. Here's what I came up with. There's lots of slots in it because I'm experimenting with uh, how the structural integrity will change uh, if I save on filament. Yeah, let's print them and add it onto here. <laughs> So now I can't electrocute myself. I added a power switch and I can still access the golden voltage adjustment knob. 
Then I printed up a primary coil former for a Tesla coil I'm building. I took eighth inch copper tubing and wrapped it into the divots that I designed and it fit really well so precision test passed. Then a box came to my door. It had a glass globe in it and then I remembered oh yeah I ordered from uh, Magic Plasma, my friend. He put holmium chloride and silicon dioxide in a glass globe and he also put strontium chloride, indium chloride, and europium chloride in a glass ball with 10 tor of xenon in it. Let's put these by a Tesla coil. All right, solid state Tesla coil, uh, frequency ramp with an indium chloride uh, globe with xenon as a buffer gas. So here we go. Frequency sweeping from 20 hertz interruption to 20 kilohertz, interrupting the Tesla coil. Give it a shake to uh, get the uh, salt into the volume of the vessel, and then we'll start it up. Here we go. Come on. Super Mario Galaxy, Yahoo! Wow. As an inner streamer. I'm feeling a lot of heat on my hand. There's lots of uh, displacement current flowing through me right now. The galaxy ball. Gosh. <laughs> wow. I hear stuff popping in the uh, circuit, so I gotta stop it. That doesn't sound good. I think it's a great time to design the plasma globe holders. Here's a cross section of the design I came up with. I need the holder to be able to fit the neck of the flask, and also the bottom needs to be wide enough so that if I accidentally hit the globe in the holder, the whole thing won't just tip over and fall on the floor and shatter, so I made the base pretty wide. Alright, let's print it. Mm -hmm. 